Hi, in this video, let's add some doors and windows to our nice home. So let's first add the door. To do that, we're going to use the rectangle tool. Click the rectangle tool. Now we're going to zoom in a little bit closer to the side. We'll put the door on the far edge of the house here. So we're going to make sure that this locks into the edge. If you move your mouse close, it'll find the edge. Be a little bit out from the end point. Click and let go. You should start getting a green rectangle. You can always move your camera a little bit if you're not getting the rectangle. We want to make sure this is at least tall enough that this person could enter, probably a little bit bigger. Click there and let go. And now let's make a little uh, door frame. To do that, well, actually, what we can do to make the illusion of the door is we're going to click and select our push pull tool. And now we can click this surface and move this in just a little bit. That's going to be our door. Now let's make a door handle. To make the door handle, we're going to select our shapes, but instead of the rectangle, we're going to find the circle. That's right here. Click the circle. And you decide what side you want the door handle to be on. I'm going to put it on the right-hand side. So I'm going to um, put the mouse wherever I want the center of the door handle to be. Let's go about there. I'm going to click and let go. Now as I move my mouse, it's going to make a green circle. Move your mouse until the circle is about the size that you want the door handle to be. Click and let go. And now we can use our push-pull tool to drag that circle out just a little bit. So I'm going to go on the surface of the circle, click and let go. Move my mouse to pull it out a little bit. Click and let go. Awesome. Now let's make a nice window right here. We're going to go back to our trusty rectangle tool. And select the rectangle tool and let's make a nice big window about here i'm going to make it about the same height as the door i'm going to click and let go drag this way out for a nice big picture window click and let go and now we want to add um, a little bit of a cross pattern to this so let's go to our line tool and select the line tool and we're going to move our mouse until we find the midpoint there. Click and let go. And we'll go here. Click and let go. And let's do the same thing here. We're going to click and let go. And click and let go. So we have a nice little pattern for this window. Let's swing around to the back of the house and make a back glass sliding door and a couple more windows. So I'm going to zoom out, swing my camera around, and go to the back. And let's make a nice big sliding patio door here. To do that, I'm going to use my rectangle tool. Click and let go. And let's make this very nice and wide so we can have a sliding glass door. Remember, kind of tall because our house isn't too tall. We'll click and let go. And now what we're going to do is we are going to split this up into two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click a little bit off here click and make a slightly smaller rectangle notice it wants to click into place you kind of have to force it to not about right there and let go and let's do the same thing right here and then click and let go and now we can use our push pull tool and we can actually click this frame and move this frame out a little bit later on we'll color these a uh, glass color and while we're back here, let's make one more window. So we'll go over here. And we're going to use our rectangle tool. Click and let go. Click and let go. And then we'll use our line tool to make a nice little pattern on this window. Again, using the midpoints. Click and let go. All right, so now we've added, you've learned how to add a doorway, a sliding glass door, and a couple windows to your house.